What's up, YouTube? It's your boy, Ocelot, back again for another at-home product review. Today, we're looking at a selection of accessories for the Tesla Model 3. A couple are not specific to the Model 3, so they're useful in any car you might own. I'll give my impressions of each product and let you know which of them I kept, as well as which ones I'll be returning. I've had the car for a week now, and it's everything I was hoping it would be. The design is both iconic and beautiful. The driving experience is silent, efficient, and very quick. 0-60 to 60 comes in less than 5 seconds. And the absence of gear changes and noise and vibration from the engine magnifies that sensation of speed. The Model 3's packaging is impressively space efficient, with two trunks and plenty of room for four passengers. One of my favorite features is actually the door handles. You probably know that you push in here and pull with your fingers to open the door. But what's really impressive to me is how just kind of thin and metallic and blade-like this mechanism here that you have to hold with your hand to open and close. I just really enjoy touching this part of the car for some reason. I thought, um, you know, all the other cars I've ever driven, this plastic piece is kind of where the door ends and begins. So you're touching a lot of plastic, but on the Model 3, you're just touching metal. I really like that. This car is pricey. Mine came in at just under $50,000 with tax credits, but it will never need to gas up or get an oil change. The interior is minimal, but luxurious and feature rich. My favorite bells and whistles are the smartphone app that automatically locks and unlocks the car as you approach or walk away, and the ability to pre-start the climate control from anywhere with an internet connection. The adaptive cruise control, don't call it autopilot, is the best in the business. It requires supervisory control and is most reliable on the highway or in stop and go traffic. When used properly, it makes driving both safer and more relaxing. Yes, there are noticeable cost cutting feature emissions when compared to other luxury marks, such as the lack of a power trunk lid, no 360 degree camera, no Android Auto or Apple CarPlay. The navigation system is powered by Google Maps, but does not connect to your saved places on Google. But the pros outweigh the cons more than any other car I've ever driven. Some other YouTuber compared driving a Model 3 to switching from a Motorola Razr flip phone to the original iPhone. And you know what? The technological leap really does feel that substantial. Now onto the accessories, in order of cost from lowest to highest. After each item, I'll let you know if I bought the item or returned it. I'll also include some links to each product in the description below. If you end up purchasing through one of the Amazon links, it doesn't cost you anything extra, but I will get a small referral fee. If you guys could help me out and click on at least one link, it would really help me out and give me a reason to make more videos like this one. The first accessory we're looking at is a $5 sunglass clip off of Amazon. The Model 3 has plenty of spaces to store items in the center console, but because of the panoramic windshield, no overhead storage compartment is dedicated to sunglasses. You'll need a place to store your sunglasses without them getting scratched. These $5 sunglass clips, which attach to your visor, are a simple and effective solution. I rate them a buy. The previous sunglass clips I would use would actually open and then clip in using a closing mechanism that would keep breaking. And I went through, uh, I think, two of those after a few years when the plastic got brittle. The nice thing about this clip is that the only closing mechanism is just a spring. So it uh, doesn't have anything that can break really. It just holds your sunglasses in there using the tension of the spring. The next item is an $8 key card holder for your valet with a keychain. This thing is actually really cool. On the off chance that you bring your car to a valet, you can help ensure that they don't lose your keys by giving them your Tesla key card on a key ring, just like a normal car keys. It stores easily in your armrest for when you need it. And hey, it's only $8. I rate this one a buy. The next item is this $10 iPow Gooseneck Magnetic Phone Mount. There aren't many places to mount your magnetic phone mount in the Model 3 since there isn't any plastic trim. I wanted something that would elevate the phone above your, my knee when I'm driving, but also be close at hand for changing the tracks on my phone's podcast app. This gooseneck magnetic phone mount suctions onto the back of your center screen, 
and it places the phone exactly where I wanted it. At $10, this is the best phone mounting solution for your Model 3, and it's a strong buy. I did take Ben Sullins' advice and try to mount a Skosh magnetic phone mount right here, but to be honest, that's not a useful place to have a phone at all. Um, and I thought I'd really miss having that gauge cluster above between the string wheel hole, um, like on a, on a traditional car. I was very concerned about that before I ordered the Model 3, but it truly is a non-issue. Um, when you're driving, you got to look down anyways, so down and to the right, it's really not that big of a deal. Um, I can't even say there's any drop-off at all as far as my ability to monitor my speed, especially because this car has such a great cruise control. Up next for $25, we've got this Peekaboo rear view mirror, also off of Amazon. The Model 3, for some reason, comes with a tiny, tiny rear view mirror. I do like that it's frameless, but seriously, the field of view is way too narrow. I've been using the Peekaboo rear view mirror attachments in all of my cars since I became a parent five years ago. They cost $25 each and are the best of several rear view mirror options that I purchased from Amazon and tried out. This one's a strong buy, especially if you have kids. And if you don't need to look in your rear seat, you can just get something similar like this that maybe wouldn't be as tall, but would at least give you a wider field of view. Up next, we've got the EV Wraps Door Seal Clear Protection Vinyl for $28 off of Amazon. As you can see, it's still in the packaging. You know, at one time, when I was initially dreaming about the car, I was thinking of applying a clear paint protection film on the front of the car. Um, as well as on the door sill plates. But I've since learned that the film itself is not especially robust or easy to maintain. If you are a perfectionist who doesn't mind applying and reapplying vinyl wraps on your car and detailing it by hand, you know, no automatic car wash for sure. Uh, I can see how these would be, would help protect your door sill plates. But for me, I came to realize that these wraps are not worth my time or effort. So I'm passing on wraps. The next item is these metal pedal covers for $33 off of Amazon. These actually look like the OEM pedals that come on the performance version of the Model 3. I have metal pedals in my Porsche 911, which look great, but I actually wish they were stickier. Rubber pedals will always outperform metal pedals in everything but the looks department, so I'm going to pass on these. The next item I ordered was the RPM Tesla LED light upgrade kit for $55. I am a big fan of automotive LEDs. In the past, I've replaced interior halogen bulbs with LEDs in all my previous cars. I thought I would have to do this on this car as well. That was probably pretty naive. I ordered this bulb replacement kit before I received my Model 3, but found out after receiving the car that the stock LEDs are just fine. I'll be returning these. Pass. The next item is Pro Trim's Folding Windshield Sunshade for $55 off of Amazon. You can and should pre-start your Model 3's climate control using the smartphone app before walking out to your car. By the time you get there, the, call, the car will be at your desired temperature, eliminating the need to fumble with a giant folding sunshade. Seriously, this thing is huge because the Model 3's windshield is longer than many SUVs. This folding sunshade from Amazon appears to be constructed with very good quality, but this is a device that has been designed out by the Tesla smartphone developers. Pass. The next item is Tesla's official front roof sunshade, which you can get for $75 off of Tesla's website. This thing is absolutely necessary if you live somewhere where it's sunny. The Model 3's panoramic roof is striking and great when the weather allows. The other half of the year, it gets way too hot and can burn your skin. Tesla's official front roof sunshade is affordable, looks like it came with the car, and is perfect for cutting your ultraviolet light exposure to a tolerable level depending on the season. Go get this one. Our next item is RPM Tesla's Wood Center Console Vinyl Wrap for $87. As everyone knows, the Model 3's center console is a scratch, fingerprint, and dust magnet. I've had mine for about a week, and already I've got some scratches on the piano black. You're going to want to wrap it with something that suits your taste. RPM Tesla was the only place I could find with a pre-cut wood option, so I ordered this from them. They offer two colors, Gen 1, which is a lighter print, and Gen 2, which is a darker, closer color match. It's really tough to distinguish the difference uh, through a uh, internet video. 
Um, in my opinion, you know, the Gen 2 color I actually prefer of the two for my own personal taste because I like gray woods. But it just does not match that um, wood strip on the dashboard very well. So you can see there's a pretty big color difference there. The wrap is definitely a gray, whereas the wood on the dash is a light brown. So after being not really sure which of these two I'm going to install, I think I'm going to go with the uh, Gen 2 color, which should match the wood a little better. So there you can see the Gen 2 wood is a, definitely a much closer match as far as coming close to the brown of the dash. It's not exact, but it's it's pretty good. All right, guys, so I just had the wood wrap installed on my Model 3, and I am very happy with it. The color match is much better than the Gen 1. Um, you should know that these pre-cut films um, will not go over the corners of your cup holder. You can see there, kind of like the... Uh, um, that transition edge there and also because it doesn't go over the sides um, when you have it installed it may not go you see there it kind of uh, it doesn't go over the edges it goes it's a little bit short stops a little bit short of the edges so that's just something to know about the pre-cut films is they're not going to go around the edge um, I'm not sure how you would handle it if it was an actual cut, uh, if it was an actual wrap that was cut at the installer. I'm not sure how that would work, if they would go around the edge, and then at what point did they cut, I'm not really sure. But, just something to be aware of. I am very happy with the texture and the color, and um, I brought it to a tint shop to have it installed, just because I didn't want to be messing with it myself. They charged me 50 bucks to install it, it took about 20 minutes. This one's a strong buy. All right guys, so underneath this cover here I've got wireless phone charging. It's the Jetta wireless phone charging mat for 120 bucks, uh, which you can get on Jetta, getjetta.com. And I also had to buy this additional plastic, 3D printed plastic extension piece for the um, bottom lip. And that was $35 from Hello Skyline. It's called their case-friendly dock adapter for the Tesla Model 3. This Jetta mat here is actually a direct replacement for the stock rubber mat, which goes on top of a shelf, which then plugs into your USB ports. So just a straight swap. And, you know, the... Um, they do offer, I think, a fast charging kind of battery for the Jetta mat. Um, I don't think you really need to get that anymore because it only charges at 2 amps, which I believe is the same speed as the Nomad mat, and, uh, which is a main competitor to the Jetta mat. And, you know, 2 amps is the stock amperage of the USB cables down there anyways now. So I'm not really sure you need to get that intermediary fast charging um, addition uh, option to the Jetta mat, but I would go for the Jetta mat because I think it looks better than the Nomad mat, uh, might even be a little bit cheaper, um, or, or maybe about the same once you get this 3D part, but yeah, recommended wireless phone charging in your Tesla Model 3. Obviously if you buy an electric vehicle, you're going to need to charge it at home. Our next item is a dryer plug adapter and extension cord, which I purchased off of Amazon for $150. Teslas require a NEMA 1450R outlet. Don't quote me on this, but I think 14 denotes the arrangement of the metal pins on the plug, while 50 is the number of amps this outlet provides at 240 volts. I had to purchase a cable to convert this style of plug to a NEMA 1030 plug, because that's what my house's laundry room came pre-wired with. This adapter cost me $50 on Amazon, and a 25 foot long extension cord cost me another $90. The next item is Tesla's all weather front and rear trunk mats. The fronts cost $70 and the rears cost $103. The Model 3's frunk is quite small and shallow compared to the massive rear trunk, meaning you likely won't be using it very often. 
$70 is a lot to upgrade from the stock carpet mat to a WeatherTech rubber mat, especially since the interior of the trunk is already lined in plastic and moisture resistant. I'll be returning the front mat. Pass. The trunk mat, on the other hand, is great and necessary since that trunk is lined in carpet. Definitely get that one. The next product we're looking at is the Tux Mat Leather Floor Mats for $250 off of Tux Mat's website. I had bought these for a previous car, a Ford Fusion, off of eBay for quite a less under a different, no-name brand. Because the Model 3 is still a newer car, you won't find any cheap leather floor mats from China yet. But I like these so much that I had to get them, and I bought them from this Canadian seller, Tux Mat, at a, in my mind, inflated price. They're still worth it for $250. The leather is rugged, easy to clean, and looks so much better than carpet or rubber. The sides of the mat come up, to, come up a couple inches to hold in any spilled liquids or dirt. It adds an additional touch of class and customization to your Model 3 that will elevate your luxury. I'm keeping these. As you can tell by these holes here, I actually removed the badges, the metal badges that were screwed in to these mats that read Tux Mat. It was a little over the top. The last item we're covering today is actually the ceramic window tint I had installed on my Model 3 for $600 the very minute after I picked it up. My tint guy, Scott at Tint World in San Diego, recommended tinting the panoramic windshield 10% to cut down on heat since it is raked at such a steep angle. We tinted the rest of the car including the panoramic rear window with 80% tint. Tint World was the first place I went after picking up the car and I couldn't be happier with the results. Strong buy. And there you have it, folks. 16 of the best accessories to consider for your Tesla Model 3 in 16 minutes. Let me know what you thought of this video in the comments below, and don't forget to like and subscribe. Peace.